So we went over the basic fundamental technique on a sacada, and then we also kind of made it interesting and cool. So remember, the, the fundamental thing about the sacada is the position on entry here, and this ending square position here between sagadas. Because if we don't square here, then we're not really in control. There needs to be some kind of passing through the axis between steps in a sagada. So we did the first method where we did that, but we expanded on it. So we have this, we do a sagada, we rotate the ball, which is a porocho, porocho, sagada, and you can do this indefinitely. But then when we want to exit, we go here, square, and then just resolve like you would. Okay? And then the second one was with two sagadas. So now we have here. Remember, leaders, you've got to use the rotation here and use the hip, rotate into the back ocho, and we use a cross facing here at the end. And one more time, same one. Here, here. I use the hip in this position, boom, all the way through, back ocho, and exit with the cross facing. Now, the last one was the two sacadas into the morita combination of Prada. It, it sounds like a lot of vocabulary, but it flows. Here, 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 sacada one, sacada two, into the morita, remember toes to toes. I stand back, let her pass, into a forward ocho. And then I exit one more time with that one. Here, here, and if I, I'll do it with the, the, the opposite. Instead of being forward on the foot after the mordita, here, here, now we'll be back. And this is just a classical put out of position. Okay, that's it. Did I